the motherboard. It's already got the RAM in, two gigs of RAM. This is the massive uh, passive cooling heat sink, no fan. <clears throat> and uh, it's got six USB ports on the back. That thing right there, the gold thing, is for the Wi Fi antenna. Um, the uh, VGA video out, and then it's also got two internal. USB headers. I don't know if I can point them out. Two internal USB headers right there that are going to be used to hook up the uh, NES controllers, NES to USB controllers, which I got on eBay. Right there. <clears throat> and this is the fan. There wasn't room to put the fan on the back like I originally intended so the fans gonna go on the bottom should be cool because it uh is blue LEDs so it should be like a blue glow coming from underneath the NES so that should be cool and the hard drive right there and this is the slot loading slim DVD drive put those in later so anyway <clears throat> I guess right now I'm going to cut off a lot of these screw posts have to go. Cut those off and lay out where I'm going to put the fan in the bottom. And start cutting stuff with the Dremel. Alright, this is day two of the NES computer project. Uh, spent a lot of time figuring out exactly how everything is going to fit inside. And uh, I'm pretty sure I've got that all worked out. The fan is installed inside grill turn out pretty nice getting better with the Dremel as far as making clean cuts goes but so this is the bottom the fan sits on the bottom because uh, I don't really want you to see anything on the outside to let you know that it's not just regular Nintendo so I didn't want to put like the fan on top uh, I would have put it on the back if there had been room for it but there wasn't so the only other option was to put it on the bottom. <clears throat> so that's that. And this is the DVD drive. That's going to be sitting there. And then the motherboard is going to be sitting like this. Just like that. And it's going to be hanging, actually. It's going to be hanging upside down because this is the lid. This is the lid. It's going to be hanging upside down from the Nintendo, and then when you have the bottom, you have this all put together, at the bottom, you can see the fan is going to be sitting almost right on top of the heat sink, and it should keep it pretty cool. Um, and then the way that I'm attaching the motherboard to the case is, if you can see right here, these screws. These are the, the the holes in the motherboard that are already there. I lined them up, you know, made sure everything was where I wanted it. And then right now, <clears throat> these nuts are drying. Uh, I used a two-part epoxy, so they've been epoxy to the case, and they'll hold it. And then when I want to secure the motherboard, I just put the screw into those, you know, those nuts, and it, it'll hold it. It's pretty, I don't know, I think this epoxy is rated for, like, 2500 PSI, so more than strong enough to hold the motherboard where it's supposed to go. And I also had to do some cuts on the lid for the DVD drive, but as you can see, it fits perfectly. No gaps. Well, there's a gap at the bottom, but that's going to be filled in with something else. But that looks pretty awesome right there. So, uh, 
Oh yeah, and then the graphics card. Sorry, it's kind of, uh, I know the camera's shaky. But anyway, um, so the basic layout. Motherboard there. And this board does have integrated, uh, does have onboard graphics, but it also came with the upgrade graphics card. So I'm going to try to fit it in there if I can, and I think I'll be able to. It's going to go right here on the side. Graphics card right there on the side. And uh, the PCI X1 slot is right there. It won't fit if I install it directly onto the motherboard because it's too tall. But I, I ordered a ribbon cable riser. So it's a little ribbon cable that goes from that PCI slot. And then I can come up and plug it in there. And uh, I'll do the same thing. And then the DVD drive is sitting under the motherboard. And then the hard drive, which I don't have out right now, but it's tiny. It's just going to sit right here, standing up on its side, and I'll secure it to the side. So, uh, <clears throat> it's actually surprisingly, everything fits in there extremely well. There's actually going to be a lot of leftover room. Um, it's kind of weird how well everything fits, to be honest. Almost like it was made for it, but um, I guess that's it for now. After that, I have to go to the hardware store and get some plastic washers for attaching the motherboard to the case and then after I do that I'll start figuring out my lines where to cut the case to install the IO shield this you know metal piece that goes on the back for all your inputs outputs alright